Euclid's division method. This is a very special division method by which you can find square root of a number without calculator. We'll take up two values and then figure it out. You can always learn from me different techniques and master in mathematics just as many of my students have done. Here is a clip. The winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivan. <laughs> Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulek Leader Award. You can be there, join our summer classes and get ready for bright future. Let us now look into the solution of this particular question. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Here is a request from one of our subscribers who wants to understand how do we find square root of any number without a calculator. Specifically, the person is interested in finding the square root of 1.2 and 1.3. Well, that helps me to explain the process for one and then for you to apply the method to get the solution for the other. So, in this video, we will also understand a very special division which is also known as Euclid's division method which is going to help us find the square root for any given number. So, the question specifically says, Find square root of the following correct to two decimal places without calculator. So we are taking up 1.2 square root without calculator and also 1.3 square root without calculator. Let us begin by estimating the answer, right? So can you estimate the answer? That is the first thing. Okay, we want to find square root of 1.2. Let us see. What is square of 1? We know 1 square is 1 and 2 square is a very big number. If you compare with 1.2, it is 4. So definitely, our answer is between 1 and 2. And since it is 1.2, it has to be very close to 1. What is 1.1 square? Well, you know one thing, 11 square is 121, right? And two decimal places will give us 1.21. So, as you can see, 1.1 square is 1.21. And therefore, I can say that square root of 1.2 is very, very close to 1.2. 1. You get the idea. So, we have estimated. It's a good estimate. Correct to one decimal place. Perfect. Now, can you continue with this process and estimate what is the square root of 1.3? Try it out. I think some of you have got the answer. Well, let's try this. What is 1.2 squared? Well, you know, 12 square is 144, so that will give us 1.44. So, definitely, this is less than 1.2, correct? It is less than 1.2. So, we can say at the most 1.2, right? So, we can write slightly less than 1.2. Anyway, we have an estimate, right? So, so our estimate for 1.2 is 1.21. 1 1.2 is 1 1.1. And for 1 1.3, we know it is less than 1.2. We can say 1 1.15, 17, 18, 19, something like this, correct? So we estimate this as 1 1.15. 
since 0.4 is pretty big as compared to 0.3. Okay, so that could be our approximate answer. Now, let us understand the process by which you can get accurate to two decimal places without calculator, right? So now, Without calculator, we want our answer accurate to two decimal places. So, we are going to use a very special method which is called Euclid's method of division. So, I will teach you the method by finding the square root of the number 1.2. So, in this method, we group the numbers in twos. So, the first step is group number in twos. In twos. We mean 1.2. On the left side, there is only 1. So, you can say 0, 1. But on the right side, we will have replace a value 0 and then group it. You see that. Since we want two decimal places, we need two groups. Since we do not have any other number, we will put another set of zeros. These two sets on the right hand side will ensure that our result is going to be accurate for two decimal places. You get the idea. Okay. Let us see and understand this division method. We have one in the beginning. So, we will see what number we have to write on divisor and the same number should go on the quotient. So, we are looking for same number. In divisor and quotient. Because we are trying to figure out the square of a number, right? 2 times 2, 1 times 1. Of course, this is 1 here. So, in this particular case, we can only write 1. And so, we could put 1 here and 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Now, we are going to take away from 1.20, this 1. Well, we get 0 here. And like in division, we will bring down both the other terms, which is 2, 0. So, then bring down next two digits. In this case, it is 2, 0. And we will continue our division. But here is a trick. In the divisor, you have to write twice the quotient so twice 1 is 2 so we get 2 here which is 1 times 2 do you see that 1 times 2 double this number in the quotient you get 2 but we need 2 multiply with some number exactly same in both divisor and quotient. Well, if I put 1, I get 21, which is more than 20. So, I cannot put 1. I have to put 0, correct? So, in this case, I have to put 0 here and 0 there. Multiplying by 0, I get 0. And when I subtract, I get 20. Now, bring down the other two numbers correct and follow these steps so so we'll continue the division process double the quotient means 10 twice is 20 and now again we are looking for another number which has to be seen in both divisor and in quotient we can try a big number now well can 9 work i think it will so let's try the number 9 so, if I write 9 here, so 9 times 9 is 81, right? I mean, 9 times 9 is 81, 8 goes there, 9 times 0 is 0, plus 8 is 8, and 9 times 2 is 18. 
we can subtract 10 take away 1 is 9, 9 take away 8 is 1, 9 take away 8 is 1, and then you could continue this process. You get the idea. You can add two more zeros, bring them down, and divide further by twice this number, which is 218, and writing the number, which is same in divisor and in quotient, you can get accurate answer till three decimal places. But since we want it till two decimal places, we know that the solution for this is equal to 1.09. You get the idea. So that is how we can calculate. I would like you to continue and find the answer to three decimal places. Okay? So I hope you have understood the process. Now, let's try the next one, which is we need to find the square root of 1.3. So let's do this, square root of 1.3. So the first process is to add and make pairs on the right side, starting from the decimal. So we want two decimal places, and therefore I'm making two sets of numbers. Since there was nothing after 3, we could always add zeros. So that gives you a more significant answer to accuracy of two decimal places. Well, the first step is same. We are taking care of 1. So we can say 1 times 1 is 1. And then when we subtract, we get 0 here. Bring down 3, 0. Double this number 1. You get 2 here. And we are now looking for a number in quotient and divisor, which has to be exactly same, just as we had 1 and 1 earlier. Well, I could take 1 this time. So let me place 1 here and 1 here. 1 times 21 is 21. And when I take away, 10 take away 1 is 9. Bringing down two zeros. And then what? Well, we have to double the quotient, which is 1, 1, means 22. And now, I have to write a number here and there, which should be exactly the same. Well, 2 times 4 is 8, 5 is 10, so we could go 4 times, right? So let me write 4 here, and 4. The same number goes in both divisor and in quotient. So now, we have, see, 1.14. 4 times 4 is 16, 1. 4 times 8 and 1, 9. 4 times 2 is 8. And here we get 4, correct? So that becomes the solution. Square root of 1.3 is equal to 1.14. Accurate to two decimal places, you get the idea. That is how we do this very special division. So process, once again, is to take care of numbers in sets. On the left side of decimal, there is only one number. That is 1. So 1 times 1 works for us. We get 0, bringing down the next set of numbers, which is 30. Doubling the quotient, making it the divisor, and then looking for a new number. Same in both divisor and in quotient helps to further divide and get the square root. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear to you. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe my video, that would be great. You can always send an email on the address given to learn from me. Thanks for your time and all the best. We regularly register students for our courses. This summer, we have a very special program. You can send an email on the address highlighted and join the program of your interest. That will help you to perform much, much better in the coming semester. Register by sending the email as the seats are limited. Join Anil Kumar classes and get ready for a bright future. Thank you.